Good morning and welcome to the second day of a week on Sainsbury's Taste the Difference. And I've woken up this morning absolutely ravenous. I could chew off my own hand. I'm not going to though because it's not Sainsbury's Taste the Difference. But needless to say, I do have my breakfast to hand. How about that then? It's, uh, there's not actually many options when it comes to Taste the Difference for breakfast. So there's going to be some things that you could probably question throughout this week. This being one of them. This is a Taste the Difference chewy granola. And there's four of the buggers. Right, I'm going to try and get this open without looking while addressing the camera. And who said men can't multitask? Not I, because I've got one. Right. Oh, that smells buttery. Mmm. It is chewy. It is fruity. It is very buttery. It is pretty nice. Actually, yes, very nice. I'm going to upgrade that from pretty to, to very nice. Mmm. That is lovely. I'm not usually a flapjacky granola kind of guy, but mmm. I'm I am now. Where is it on the stroganophenometer? That's a, that's a s eight. That's an eight. Mm. There's red fruit in there as well. It's a taste sensation. Right. I'm going to finish this. Try not to make too many grotesque noises. Try not to talk with my mouth full anymore. Get with some work. This week on is opening my eyes to a whole manner of new things already. Uh, unlike the last week on I did, which firmly closed my eyes to certain things. Namely, orange and onion and paprika salads. That was absolutely rancid. But thankfully, I've got these new week on delicacies that I can replace that in the old head, you see. Because I'm never thinking about that week on Mediterranean food again. Didn't like it didn't like it but I do like this week on I do so far like this week on Sainsbury's taste the difference and to be honest it's all thanks to pouch who is the sponsor of today's video so thank you very much to them pouch is the free desktop browser extension that scours the internet for voucher codes and automatically applies them to your shopping basket and gets you a bloody good deal in the process and when it comes to supermarkets there's more than just Sainsbury's that you can use pouch with for example, good old Iceland here. So all you have to do is go to the Iceland website, chuck a load of frozen produce into your basket, and then once you get to the checkout, Pouch will automatically find you some really, really good voucher codes and apply them for you. There you go, I saved five pounds here at Iceland. And it's not just the supermarkets where you can save a bunch of money. Pouch actually works on over 3,000 UK websites, and that's more than any other browser extension. Pouch literally only takes a couple of clicks to install, so why not just pin it to your browser? That way you won't miss out on any of those tasty deals. Pouch is available to download, install and start using right now. So why not give it a go? All the links are in the description. It's honestly really good. You're going to save a bunch of money and who doesn't like that? Especially when you've spent £119 on Taste the Difference. And I'm, uh, with some of it I haven't even tasted the difference. I'm looking at you, last night's paella not impressed but I'm gonna ignore that I'm gonna think about the granola we're gonna think about good good granola -y thoughts butter mmm butter butter makes you feel good right I'm gonna go bug the cat or something now because I'm thinking about paella and I'm angry obligatory basil shot oh yeah you can hear that I'm talking about you can't you what's up what's up you go back to sleep. I'm sorry I bothered you. No, I'm not. Been staring at spreadsheets all morning. Looking at keywords, scrambling my brain. My eyes are actually hurting a little bit. Ugh, I need a ugh, I need a screen break, I think. So I suppose it's time to get some lunch. I'm hopeful for this one because this week is going well. It's a damn sight better than the last one. <laughs> it's a damn sight better than the last one. Didn't like the Mediterranean diet. 
Right, let's get some lunch. What's even lazier than a ready meal? A prepared sandwich. This is the only one they do. This is the only taste the difference prepared sandwich. And to be fair, it looks really good. It is a steak and caramelised red onion with gravy mayo on onion bread. Yeah. Gravy mayo. L that sounds nice. I quite like the sound of gravy mayo. Mm. With every sandwich, of course, in the UK, it's illegal if you don't have a packet of crisps with it. Which is why I've got Taste the Difference, Mature Cheddar and Spring Onion flavour. See, it's not just cheese and onion, it's mature and springy. Are you jealous? No, your breath is going to be a delight with the onion crisps and onion bread. Ooh, and onion <laughs> so much onion. I'm excited. Right, let's try it. Oh, it does smell very, very oniony. Mmm, that is good. Tender beef. Loads of flavour. You can see the onion in the bread from here. Yeah, the onion is a much more subtle flavour, but it's a big aftertaste of onion. And that gravy mayo, it really does taste like gravy. That's nice. That is nice. Let's try a mature cheddar and spring onion crisp. Couldn't tell you that was spring onion, but there's an onioniness to it. There's a cheddariness to it. And there's a happiness to it. I am absolutely knackered. I you didn't even do that much. Sod off I didn't do that. I did 15 minutes of cardio, then you dragged me around all the machines again. Yes. And I was knackered five minutes into that machine. I feel really weak and feeble, like a small kitten. You have to push yourself. To I did. But I'm also moaning about it. So I just, you know, deal with it as I deal with it. Yeah, but we're having something nice now. <gasps> yes, we are! A pizza! It's going to be worth it. That's what I'm telling myself it's anyway. This is a, a big pizza. Taste the difference. Wood-fired, spicy Italian pepperoni and rocchito peppers. And stretch. <gasps> That's how you know. It's going to taste different. It's going to taste sourdoughy and hands. What? Matter. Why are you interrupting me? I think she's getting prawn again, doesn't he? You can have prawn tomorrow. Or maybe he just wants pizza, but he's not having any of this because this is mine. And, and this is Grace's. Mine. I'm not really that whole thing though. I've I'm, I'm going to help you. You've got salad. You've got an, a non taste the difference salad. Have, yeah. So it's not official part of the week on. So I'm not going to have it. Definitely going to have this though. Right. The oven's on. The camp's waiting patiently for something that's not going to come. Well. Out of the box, they actually look a lot smaller. Um, obviously, they're not squared off. They're kind of oval-shaped, so I feel a little bit cheated. It's not as big. So, I mean, if you're not going to eat it all, I'm still very much going to eat it. But we'll see, because I am hungry. We'll see. Do you want any slices? Like, can I just have them both? No. Well, it's out of the oven, and it looks and smells yummy. It smells really good, doesn't it? There's uh, three wayward slices from Gracie and there's uh, your pizza and your salad how is it wow very cheesy very cheesy and very spicy oh is it <gasps> is it really oh let's really try spicy. it <laughs> <clears throat> are they not are they chili pepper it's those, riquito, right those things these yeah Oh yeah! Oh, right at the back of the throat. Spicy. Oh, I'd have to pick. I'm going to pick them off. But what? It's very, They're not that spicy. It's very cheesy and very nice. Ooh. I'm not getting too much of the meat flavour. Um, Mainly just the spicy, but it is lovely. Yeah, the, I mean, to be fair, there's not a ton of meat on there. The, this, to be fair, that heat is building. It's very hot. You can have mine. It, you okay? You gone red in the face yet? No. No. <laughs> oh, I won't be eating them anymore. I should cheese. Hmm. There you go. Right. Let's go devour. 
Well, I did end up with about one and one third pizza in the end. How, how did you get on with it? It was nice, but it was very spicy. I had to pick the peppers off. It, well, I, I did eat the peppers. They were very nice. The meat was nice. The base, though, was really dense and crispy and dry, I thought, it was, though. It was sourdough, which was, um, I guess, kind of what you could expect. All right, then. That's fine. Chewy. So, out of uh, out of ten, compared to the the stroganoff, how do you think uh, the old? Uh, oh, snoozy boy. What did I rate the other one? That was eight. I don't wasn't know. It? I think that was an eight. Oh, probably probably an eight, one and a half. Okay. If it wasn't so spicy, it would have got a nine. Wow. Okay. It was a seven, I think. Seven. Liked it. Didn't love it. But I do have a pudding now. I have this. This, it's an almond thin, which is a very thin almond biscuit. You'd be unsurprised to hear. Very crispy. Mm. Very buttery. Very yummy. Mm. That is really good. Not very almondy though. Eat the almond bit. Well, that would probably help, wouldn't it? Yeah. Squeaky. No, it's not bags of almond almondness in there, but I absolutely cannot stand marzipan, which is like almond, right? Yeah. Well, it's a really good thing then. But that's nice. Right, my teeth are cleaned after my almond thins. Very nice. It's now time to put in my aligners. Aligners 33. Can't believe I've been doing this so bloody long. These are going to be tighter, so they're going to be pretty painful I'm quite sure of it lovely stuff oh yeah they are very tight oh yeah my canine at the top right was really protrudy for the lack of a better term oh and at the bottom um my lateral incisor maybe Far back, I'm trying to talk and just say words because this is really painful. It'll be really painful for about half an hour. <sighs> yeah. Oh, that's unpleasant. That is unpleasant. Well, I was pretty happy with the food for today. And then I put my new set of braces in and now my teeth are so I'm unhappy. But I've got my nice baby chew. Literally something you give for babies when um when they're teething because that's basically what i feel like a giant teething baby with 30 odd years of gammy teeth to try and shift <laughs> but there we go what do you reckon basil do you feel bad for me are you going to show me any kind of sympathy at all after all this sympathy i showed you when you were uh, under the weather no whatever fine so today's food was pretty good really good in fact I want to upgrade it from pretty to really so my breakfast was my lovely flapjacky granola -y bar so yummy and buttery delicious my sandwich was good not great my crisps were really nice so very very happy with those and then the pizza was yeah it was good not a glowing review and on retrospect it maybe it wasn't as good as yesterday but it was still a good day nothing's going to be that that strong enough though and I'm, I'm not going to stop talking about it i do recommend that you go out and uh try it because it was bloody lovely and the uh the almond thins very nice i may have eaten more than i probably should have i've, I've probably had the equivalent of about nine sticks of butter today in the almond thins uh, and my flapjack alone. But there we go. You know, YOLO. YOLO. So that was that was day two. What can I say? Not as good as day one, but still pretty good. Um, as I've said before, I should hope considering the cost of the week. But it's gonna, if it's going to continue with this, I'm going to be a very happy, happy camper all week. I'm I'm now going to go to bed, Basil, and try and sleep off this bloody toothache that I've 
decided to self-inflict myself with. So, thank you very much for watching. Please do consider supporting the channel if you want to watch the rest of this week on right now. It also helps to keep the channel alive. Uh, do click on the links for Patreon or become a member here on YouTube. Links are in the description. Also, thank you very, very much to Pouch for being the sponsor of today's video. The link's also in the description for that. Pouch is a very use useful service. So check it out. My slurring is really bad. I'm very sorry. 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 Right, I am going to do a, a video on my Invisalign at some point, but probably towards, if not at, the end. But that's for another story for another day. Please do subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, follow me on social media. And uh, yeah, just uh, give Basil a kiss or something, I suppose. Right, that was day two. I'm going to the dentist tomorrow, so um, hopefully I'll be impressed with my gnashes. See you then. Thank <laughs> you.